Good morning, all. I wrap Stein with your morning flash update. And this update is for Tuesday morning. We're at the 21st of June, 2022, about 8.30 a.m. Central Time. Hey, thanks for putting up with my COVID case. It's been a rough one. They tell me my voice will take about two weeks more before it's fully back to its full strength. But I feel good, and that's the important thing. I'm not waking up tired whole different uh, event. I needed that uh, eight, nine days of break, I guess, to get over it. So as you look at the markets, grain's under a lot of pressure, but why not? First day of summer, things are looking good. We're going to be really hot in the Midwest, so there'll be some stress coming on them. We'll see how they do. Notice that we're getting a bounce again in the energy markets, with the exception of Nat Gas. You want to make some switches, too. I'm already switching over to Dees Corn, Sep Wheat, No Beans, December, Cotton, for example. As we look in the stock market, a bounce. I do not see anything more than a bounce. All right? Nothing goes straight down. And it was nice to get that break. We had a long holiday in America. The market takes advantage of that and says, oh, you know something? Maybe we do get a bounce here. We were approaching Bollinger Bands and the 200-day average in three of the four stock indices. I made that known uh, this morning in my morning subscriber video showing people that. Metal markets, copper getting a little bid, the same with the silver. Could this be that China's starting to come back a little bit into the market? That could be the case. Bonds and notes still keeping up with what? Very, very strong interest rates. You're going to see that for a long time. Don't look for interest rates to be giving up on anything. We've got another 75-point uh, hike coming in July. Then we might get something uh, 50, 75 in September, and we'll see where we go from there. The real key, though, is the dollar. And as I'm looking at the dollar, my thought process is this. So many other central banks are joining the parade of higher interest rates. Does it get to the point where the dollar's already discounted all this and these others start coming on stronger because they're just beginning that cycle? That'll be an interesting part that we have to consider. Now, as I'm looking at the markets, and let me get over here and see if I can bring this up to date with where I want to be. That's where I want to be. Chicago Fed. Reserve, National Activity Index, up one-tenth. Prior was up four-tenths. They revised it down from the four-seven, but things still slowing. We're going to get existing home sales today at 9 o'clock. Let's see how those do for us as well. You put it all together, and the name of the game here, though, is how do you put together a game plan to do anything? And I think that's going to be the hardest thing for traders to try to figure out. Well, one of the things we do at Lynn is we write reports all day for you. I use the word all day on all the markets. It could be financial. It'll be the housing. It'll be the grain markets. It's going to be about interest rates. It's going to be covering world events all day long, a cycle of events. So you're not stuck on a holiday weekend. Gee, where do I get what I need? How do I play with this? Where's it going to carry me? Uh-uh. All of these different parts of the futures markets. And the question, of course, in futures, are we making peaks? Have we made peaks as a whole in the commodity market? We're writing about that right now. So if you'd like to see what our clients get, and I'm talking my paid research people, the people that trade through us, we'd like to give you a weak sample to it. Just go to our website. Under free offers, you'll see it on the top left, it's there. You can also follow me here, take your cursor, move it all the way up if you're on a computer screen. You'll see an icon, give that a click and you can sign up. I'm I. Rapstein. I'll see you at the end of the day with our market reviews. Good to be back. Thanks for putting up with me. Take care now.